an ancient land of Maharajas, Mughal emperors and mysticism reigns a rich and powerful princess. And she holds the key to one of humanity's greatest mysteries, the secret to eternal youth and beauty. Or at least that's what her promotional material says. Hong Kong now, aye. Hong Kong now, what she Meticulous, fastidious and ambitious, beauty is Shanaz Hussain's business. Big business. It's very lonely on the top, just standing up and saying that uh, I promote Ayurveda. I represent India with the best. Before the days of antibiotics and cosmetic companies, Ayurvedics had an answer to everything from headaches to hair care. It's a herbal, spiritual fix-all, grounded in Hinduism's ancient texts. And Shanaz Hussain's built a $200 million dynasty by bottling those traditional potions and selling them to the West as herbal beauty products. Are you the princess of the powder puff? No, <laughs> I'm, I'm very good at my job because out of sheer practice of so many years, I never have any embarrassment saying what I want to say and I'm never shy. Why should, I, why should I feel shy? I'm promoting my country's heritage. So she is definitely a woman who's taken something very humble, you know, like a homegrown recipe, a homegrown cosmetology, something from the backwards, and made it global. 30 years after opening her first shop in New Delhi, Shanaz Hussain boasts 485 salons around the world. Success magazines called her the world's greatest woman entrepreneur. Not bad for the girl whose strict, conservative parents married her off when she was just 15. Well, Shana Hussain is extremely, is entirely self-made. I mean, she was, after all, just this Muslim girl who sort of came from this extremely ordinary background, you know, to push ahead in this glamorous world of cosmetics. I mean, it's, it's, it's mind-boggling. There's no way that you can undermine the importance or the significance of what Shanaz has done. Almost as mind-boggling as the self-promotion, exalting her as a crusader against Western cosmetic companies, natural India against the synthetic West. Indians have a tremendous resilience capacity to take on everything and do it very well. Tremendous brain power we exude wherever there's an outstanding person and 90 percent will be in Indian. So I think that uh, India has a tremendous future. Whether the Western world wants to accept it or not is their problem. Yeah, you will clean this up. Pull up. No problem understanding who's the boss around you planet like Shanaz. If you just wait a little while, they just left in the clutter. No, exactly. Tell them where to put it. Oh. Like all royalty worth their weight in gold eyeshadow, the princess has built a palace. And it's like no other. And where do you get your rather unique sense of style from? <laughs> I think the genes are born with it. I create a lot of things that are not available in the market, like the table, we sort of made a bunch of flowers, put on a wrought iron and made that table, that last table there. Even in this castle of kitsch, success does have its burdens such as managing those bothersome servants. Well, they, they've done it all wrong because they put all the flowers all three in one line. And I had done it completely different. I made it look like a bunch. <laughs> and then there are several servants per floor. We do nothing except only tidy and wash and clean. That's the idea. How many servants do you have working here? In the building about a hundred. Such are the trappings of success. I became wooed by a narcissistic fantasy. I fooled myself that I too could join the ranks of her herbal, beautiful people. So Princess, I'm wondering if you'd be so kind as to maybe give me a few beauty tips. Well, you have got a dry skin. Why did you go in the salon and see how good or bad we are? I'd love to give it a try. Most welcome. Come. Thank you. But I would not be thanking her for long.
This one? Yes. Ah. Sir. What's your name? I named Rafiq Venus. Venus? Mr. Yes. Venus? Yes, sir. And you're the chief beautician here, are you? Yes, sir. Really? Uh, More like chief torturer. With a seductive smile, Venus cast his cruel spell. This is not therapy, it's brutality. But the worst was yet to come. Before I could say Ayurvedic aloe vera, my face was encased. I can't sleep, Venus. Venus. Yes. I can't sleep. Blind, mute and immobile, the princess and her henchmen had transformed me into a hot pink replica of the English patient. Perhaps it's the secret of Shanaz Hussain's success. Faces which can't talk, can't complain. I actually feel like an idiot. But as long as people stay obsessed with beauty, this princess will profit.